Hi, this is Miss Melissa from the Manor Library, and I am going to show you how to make a turtle refrigerator magnet today. This is the first take-home craft in our series for 2021 Summer Quest Tales and Tales. This craft is available at the library for pickup starting June 14th. Don't forget to register for Tales and Tales so that you can earn tickets to win prizes. Let's get started. When you pick up your kit, Hi, it looks this is something Melissa like this. The Manor Library. Everything Welcome is back. in the kit with take the home exception craft of week. a pair this of scissors that you'll need from home. And we're all about on the farm this week. When you open it all up, you can see all the supplies so you have. This craft is a little bit paint, trickier. The foam, it's not the quite shelves, as everything um, you need. simple as some of the other the ones we've done. Step. And it requires a little bit more effort. But I think he's super cute. And I will show you how to make him. And if you're careful, let's see if I can take him down. He will sit right on your table like that. So, kind of a fun, fun little thing to sit around. So, in your package, you have a bunch of stuff. And the first thing I did is I took my two clothespins and I colored them black. And I just used a magic marker for that. I had a, a sharpie sitting here at my desk. Um, if you have the markers from week two when we made the arctic animal keychains those would work um, even a black crayon would work but go ahead and color those the other thing i did is i made my face so you're going to have a piece of black cardstock you're going to have two googly eyes and then you're going to have some big floppy ears and i used the glue stick that we give you and i glued on the eyes and the ears so that part is done um and I had an extra ear. I don't know. Apparently they were sticking together when I was counting them out, but don't worry about that. All right, the other thing you're gonna see is you have a ball of yarn, of white yarn, and you have a pipe cleaner. Um, I folded it in half, and then I also cut off a shorter piece of yarn, and this is probably longer than it needs to get be, but I would say nine, nine to 12 inches long of yarn. Um, and what we're going to teach you in this craft is how to make a pom-pom. Now, I like to use my hand. That might be tough for some of you little guys. So you can also use, I put an a index card in. So if you're going to use the index card, I want you to put those on the index card. And then start wrapping the index card with the yarn. And you're just going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Um... I'm going to use my hand, so I'm going to lay the short piece of yarn across my hand like that, put the pipe cleaner on top of it, and then I'm going to start wrapping. You're just going to wrap your hand with the yarn, and I guessed at how much yarn to give you guys, so there may be way too much yarn here. If it looks like it's going to be too much, you want a nice full pom-pom. Um, but if it seems to be too much, you can always, you know, stop it before you get to the end of the ball of, of yarn. So keep wrapping, keep wrapping. Um, if you're watching this during the week for On the Farm, don't forget to stop in. We've got two animal cards to pick up this week, so our trading cards. Um, let's see, we're, we've got an alpaca this week, and... I don't remember what my other farm animal is. I can't remember what they are this week. An alpaca and a pig maybe? I don't know. You'll have to stop in and pick them up because I don't remember right now. Um, also, stop in and I've got on the maker station, I have brand new stamp pads that you can use to make fingerprint art. Um, and I've got some some guidelines to give you some ideas how to make that fingerprint art. Okay, so stop in and do this. Also, make sure that you're, you're filling your log out because when you fill your log out and bring it into Miss Stephanie and I, you can win, you get tickets to win prizes. Once you get that all done, I want you, and this, you might need help from a friend, take that short piece of stiff yarn, tie it in a knot. And this is where it's good to have a grown-up to help you so you don't use your teeth. Uh, 
tie that into a knot. All right. And then you're gonna carefully remove that from your hand. And cut it. So take your scissors and just at the bottom, cut all those loops of yarn. And when you do that, you'll end up with this fun, fun, oops, I missed one. And you will miss a couple, no big deal. Fun, loose pom-pom. And depending on the size of your hand, you know, depends on how big it is. And these are super fun too. You can use these to decorate your room or make a garland, all kinds of fun stuff you can do with pom-poms. Now, the reason we used the pipe cleaner in the center is now you can take and attach your legs. And right now we have a headless sheep. So we need to glue our head on. But if you look at my sample, I've got cute little fur on the top of his head. So all you're gonna do is if you have some long strings hanging out, just cut those off. Let's see, what would I cut? Like that much. Give my sheep a little bit of a haircut. And then you can use those pieces to give him a little bit of tuft of hair on the top of his head. All right, pull that off. I am going to put a little bit of glue at the top of his head. You see that? And then I'm just gonna stick that to his head. Now, here's your trick. This needs, you need to put a pretty thick layer of glue on the back of your sheep face. And then you're going to simply glue him to the front of one of his legs. Yep, mine's crooked. My sheep is curious. He's got his head tilted. And there's your fun pom-pom sheep. So like I said, this is a, a bit trickier, but I was hoping you'd enjoy getting to learn how to make pom-poms. And you can use um, all kinds of different, like this index card gives you one size pom-pom. And I think that's my maybe what I used to make my original one. You could use um, a smaller piece of cardboard to make little tiny pom-poms. Um, so lots of different things you can do there. So make sure you come stop by and see me and pick a craft up so that you can go home and make your own pom-pom sheep. And then next week is in our backyard. So we're going to talk about backyard stuff next week. So have a great week and we'll see you soon.